Hey everybody, today we are going to be taking a look at this top of the line record player from Audio Technica. As an avid music fan and vinyl collector, the quality of your record player can determine the quality of your music. We are going to see if this player meets my standards and makes for a valuable listening experience. Let's get into it. This player is known as the mouthful that is the ATL P60 XBT. Regardless of the name, the player comes fully standard with a fully automatic belt drive turntable with Bluetooth connectivity options. If you're unfamiliar with record players, this means that you can listen to your records through Bluetooth connection in speakers or in headphones. Personally, this is a game changer. I've been using these old computer speakers that have done their job as best as they could, but now I can connect straight through Bluetooth so I can even listen on headphones or through a Bluetooth speaker if I choose to. The great thing is, if you don't have any way to connect through Bluetooth, a wired connection can still be made using these ports in the back of the player. All you have to do to connect a Bluetooth device is to press and hold the Bluetooth button for a few seconds, wait until the lights start flashing blue and red, and then connect to the player using your output device, like headphones or a speaker. This model comes with Audio Technica's dual magnet cartridge, which is easily installed and can be easily replaced. The cartridge contains the stylus, which is what runs along the grooves in the record, producing that sweet, sweet sound. I was able to quickly clip the cartridge in with no issues. I did, however, run into some trouble in getting the table to start turning. When the player arrives in its box, the platter, or the turntable, has to be installed by the customer. It's a pretty simple process. You wrap a band around the platter and slip it around the bearing and the motor inside the turntable. The tricky thing is not snapping the band. The first time I did it, I pulled the band a bit too hard and it gave up. Very inconvenient and almost definitely my fault, but something to consider if you're looking at getting one of these. The only other piece that has to be installed is the clear plastic top cover that slips on the notches in the back and can be easily removed. It's recommended to keep it on as it protects your record from any dust or debris that could damage your listening experience. That's it for installation, let's look at some other features. The player starts automatically when a record is put down on the turntable. You can also start listening to a record by moving the stylus onto the record manually like so, or by simply pressing the start button. The stylus and its arm can also be lifted using this button. To stop the record, it's best to just simply press the stop button and wait for the record to stop spinning. The AT also has a speed button on the left side. You can switch between the 33 and the third revolutions per minute, which would play your 12 inch standard record, and 45 revolutions per minute, which plays smaller seven inch records. Now, let's get into more of my personal review. Overall, I think this is a fantastic player for anyone interested in getting into record collecting or listening. I purchased mine for $200, which is still the current asking price on Audio Technica's website. This is a little bit pricey for beginners, but the features do justify the price. As a broke college student, I didn't really have to break my bank to listen to my records. Comparatively, the Fluence RT82W, which is currently regarded as one of the best record players on the market, costs $300. The Fluence player might look a bit more stylish with its wood finish, but it doesn't even have Bluetooth connectivity options. If you want the most bang for your buck, then the Audio Technica is the way to go. There aren't many issues that I have with this player. If anything, most of the player is made out of plastic that feels weak in some areas, like here along the arm, connected to the stylus but I don't foresee this becoming an issue. It just means that you really have to handle the player with care. The bottom line is this. I highly recommend purchasing this player if you are interested in listening or collecting records. As records continue to have a resurgence in popularity, this player is the perfect starting point. You can look at one to buy from the link in the description, not a sponsor. Well, that's my review of the Audio-Technica ATL P60 XBT. If you enjoyed this review or found it helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.